Alright, I'll push the button. Alright. The first okay. thing you gotta do is, is have your transmission out. You take the plate, the big plate, put it on the transmission, put your screws in. Once your screws is in, put your slipper clutch together. I got a 42 Mob 1 pinion or spur gear. Tighten it up and back it a half. Now the next thing you do is take your motor and mount it in this plate. It should look just like this. Mount it loosely because you're going to have to move the motor around to get your proper alignment. Second thing you do is you take one of the long screws, the one and a half inch screws, you slide it through the motor mount. You put a, a standoff on and you align it to one of the top. Actually, no, hold on. Lock your motor down about a little, a little close to the, to the middle. I don't know if you can see the screws. About right there. Lock your motor in place just temporarily. Put your spur gear on. Lock it in place temporarily. This is a 34 tooth 5 1 pinion from the X01. You have the 1.5 inch screw with the standoff. Mount, mount the plate put your nine line water your nine line locking nut on and then you'll do on the opposite end caddy corner you'll do another screw with the standoff swing that around and you'll lock that and here Put another standoff. Now you want to tighten these two screws up. So you can check your gearing alignment. Now check and see how your gears mesh. Make sure you can hold one gear and rock the other one without the first one moving. If you if you have it where your gears are not touching, then release the bolts like this. Let me show just show them. Release the two bolts.
pull the screw out, the standoff out, loosen this side. Just enough that you can move your motor. And then you take the pinion gear off. Then adjust your motor wherever you need to adjust it to get your gear mesh. Move it a little bit and then lock it back down and then try to process again. But mine fit pretty good now. So I lock it in place, spin it back around. Start putting all my screws with my standoffs. And my nylon locking nuts. Another screw, another standoff. Total of five of them. Yes. One minute, V. It's a total of five of them. Around the perimeter, perimeter of the plate. Once you have them in, you can start tightening them down. And make sure your gear mesh is correct before you tighten them all down. Once that's on and they're all tight, you take the bent plate and you line it up on this side with the hole with the two holes on the left side of the transmission. You take the half inch screws, place one in there, place it through the hole, put a bolt on it. Actually you might want to use Loctite on everything too. Take your second screw. Put it through the hole, put your bolt on. Once you have it all in place and it looks like this, it's ready to be mounted in the car. Grab the car. Right now is the best time to mount your speed control. Mount it while, it's out, while the transmission assembly is out the car. Take the two inch screws and run it down through the, the bracket that holds your speed control down. Line it up with one of the two holes. Flip it over. Put your two screws. Put your two screws in. Lock it down. Put some Loctite on it. Screw it down, then the transmission, once that's in place, the transmission can actually go in the car. Get the transmission in the car, you flip it over, and you put your four screws in, and realign your, your shafts here, and it's done. And that's what it looks like when it's all complete. It's a little crooked, but it's not a. Uh, it's not mounted down. Just a quick video, what it would look like that.